What's up YouTube peeps, welcome to another video and like you just saw, I hit a new low weight in today, 184.7 pounds and I realized I haven't given you guys a physique update so I'll probably give you guys a physique update probably in the next video or the video after that and uh, currently we are making breakfast, a pretty late breakfast, it's 12.15 and we're making some fried rice right now, cooking right now and uh, I'll catch you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, just got done cooking, we have 10.5 ounces of chicken breast, 3-4 cup of white rice, three egg whites and one whole egg and on the side I put some eggplant and a piece of fish and today we're not having a cup of coffee we're just having one tall cup of water because I realized I'm not getting that much water so I'm be drinking more water and yeah we're gonna crush this watch some YouTube videos I'll catch you guys in the next one alright YouTube peace we are currently heading to the gym and I kinda regret eating all that food because my stomach is feeling pretty bloated right now and you guys might be wondering why I don't just go to the gym later well the gym closes at 4 today and it is currently like 2 10 ish so I basically have like about an hour and 40 minutes to work out so I'm just gonna go and suck it up and try not to puke and uh, I'll see you guys at the gym alright YouTube peace so I thought I might do a little bit something different today I'm gonna talk in the gym and it's my first time is pretty weird, but today we're doing deadlift, which is probably my sixth time doing it. So we're warming up, and right now I'm gonna jump into my 135, which is probably gonna be my working set. I'm gonna do that for six sets of five, and if that feels good, I'm probably gonna jump it up to 185. I even have my belt today, so she's gonna protect me. So, anyways, let's jump into our set. So that 135 felt pretty good. I've already finished two sets of that, so I'm gonna jump it up to 185 because I feel pretty good today. Let's get this 185. Feel pretty good, feel pretty easy to that for five reps. Actually, I'm gonna jump it up to 225, try to get that for five, so let's see what happens. pretty smoothly and I'm gonna jump it up to 275 which I haven't touched in like almost a year I'm gonna throw in my belt and I'm gonna try to hit this for as many as I can so let's see how many I get I went up pretty fast. I got it for three reps, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm pretty happy about that. And right now, we're gonna drop the weight back down to 225 and get that for two sets of five reps. <laughs> What's up YouTube peace and like you just saw it, I was able to hit 275 for 3 reps which I haven't done in a while so I was really happy about that and then after finishing up 2 sets of 5 with the deadlift we jumped into T-bar rows and I'm really happy that my gym actually have this machine because this is like one of the best back machine I was able to target my upper back really well with this machine so we did that for 4 sets of 10 and with this machine I was able to target my upper back by really contracting and squeezing at the top so right after the T-bar rows, we jumped into the barbell rows and I did this on the Smith machine. And a huge tip guys, if you have a back injury or you have lower back pain, I really recommend you do the barbell rows on the Smith machine because it takes a lot of pressure off of your lower back and you get a really great contraction. So we did that for 4 sets of 10 on the Smith machine. 
So after the barbell rows, we jump into the lat pull down. And a huge tip, when you do lat pull down, have your thumb over the bar so you can feel more contraction in your lats. So then to finish off our back, we did the lat extensions. I'm not even sure what these are called, but I'm going to just call them lat extensions. So we did this for 4 sets of 12 reps to get a lot of volume in, and that was our last back exercise. So after finishing up our back movements, we jump into bicep work and our first exercise for our biceps was the alternating bicep curls and we got that for 8 reps with each arm with 35 pounds. So to finish off our bicep, we did the lat pull down bicep curls. I'm not even sure what these are called but I saw Bradley Martin do it so I'm gonna just give it a go. And these actually feel pretty good. I feel a lot of contraction in my biceps so you guys should give it a try. And yeah, that was the complete workout. I hope you guys got something out of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuce.